Let's find the center of mass of a non-uniform object. So here we're going to take a rod of length L, but the linear density is not constant. If the linear density was constant, it would be a uniform object, like a meter stick, and our center of mass would be in the center of the object, but this is no longer the case. Now first, let's talk about the linear density. Linear density, lambda, is the same as normal density, which would be, if you remember, density is uh, mass over volume. Well, we're not going to do mass over volume here. We're going to do a linear density. And that has to do with a linear object, such as this rod. So instead of mass over volume, we're going to do the mass divided by the length of the object. And that will give us our linear density. Here, uh, our linear density is x squared over l squared. So we're going to use that. So to start off with, our general equation for this finding the center of mass of a non-uniform object is the total mass times the x center of mass, that's the x location of the center of mass. Looks very similar to finding the center of mass for point masses. But this one's going to equal the integral of x dm. So we're going to take a tiny little bit of mass and its location and by doing the integral, we're going to add up all those little bits of mass and location until we can find where the center of mass is. Now, in order to find the x center of mass, we're going to have to rearrange this. So we'll have the integral of x dm over the total mass. Now, total mass, we could think of as uh, just integrating all the little tiny bits of dm. So we could say m is just going to be the integral of dm. Okay, so that changes what we have here, and we can say x center of mass is going to be the integral of x dm over the integral of dm. Well, we need to do both of those integrals so we can figure out what we're dividing. So let's do that. First, let's take the integral of x dm. We're going to evaluate this from the, over the whole rod, so that's going to go from 0 to L. We don't have anything for dm. We do, however, know that lambda equals m over l. If we're just going to look at a little piece of lambda, a little piece of the rod, then we could say that lambda equals dm over a dl, but since l in this case is x, let's just say dx. We can rearrange this, and we can say that dm equals lambda dx. So let's plug that in the integral. Integral from 0 to L of x lambda dx, which is substituted in for dm. We know lambda, so we have integral 0 to L of x times x squared over L squared dx. Well, this is looking doable. Integral from 0 to L of x cubed over L squared dx. Okay, so we can do that integral. So that's going to equal x to the 4th over 4L squared, evaluated from 0 to L. So let's plug in L for x, and plug in 0 for x, so we'll get L to the 4th over 4L squared minus 0, which ends up equaling just L squared over 4. Okay, let's keep that in mind. We'll come back to that. Now let's do the other integral. In this integral, the total mass is the integral of dm. Okay, that seems kind of obvious, uh, but we need to figure out what that total mass is. We can't just say it's m, because we don't know that. So the integral of dm, we already know that can be uh, the integral from 0 to l. We already said dm equals lambda dx. We already know what lambda is, so the integral from 0 to L of x squared over L squared dx. That's an easy enough integral for us to do. So we can say that is going to be uh, x cubed over 3L squared, evaluated from 0 to L. So let's plug in L. We we'll get L cubed over 3L squared minus plugging in 0 for x. And that's 0, so we'll end up with uh, just L over 3. Uh, let's keep that in mind. We're going to come back to that. that. 
Now going back to the original equation, mx center of mass equals the integral of x dm. We figured out what the total mass is. We said the total mass is L over 3, so we'll put L over 3 here, x center of mass. We figured out what the integral of x dm is. That was L squared over 4. Now if we do a little rearranging and some of our algebra magic, we can figure out that the x-center of mass is located at 3 fourths L. That is our answer. We just figured out the center of mass location of a non-uniform rod.